So here we are working on the quad cap door again. And we'll do it to both of them. Uh, mine are rusted. The latch is rusted at the bottom. So 99% of the videos on YouTube are not helping me. So what I did was I took a socket wrench on the 10 millimeters. There's three of them down there. I went ahead and tightened them so I could snap them off. So it snaps off flush. And the, the latch down there, I beat it back and forth with a piece of pipe and then a pry bar to bring it back and a pipe. Just try and bend it back and forth. And let's see if I can get something here. Um, well, I don't want to kick the crap out of this door and bend the bottom of the door and rip stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my angle grinder and I'm going to try and grind right here at the bottom of this. Try and make everything flush so that when I pull the door, it'll just slide right over top and the latch mechanism will be stuck to the bottom post. And the door will open and I can take the latch off after that. So that's the plan. So I'm going to get my angle grinder and try and grind that lever off and see how we do. All right, so there's the latch, the top half, which is inside the door anyways. And if you can see, if I can get the light right, phone's in the way. There, eh, come on, there. You can see it's pretty much flush with the bottom of the door. So as, when I pull the door, there should be nothing keeping it in place. It should just slide right over top of the latch mechanism. So, moment of truth, find the off switch for this thing. Alright, so here we go. <laughs> Alright. I have to get forceful with it. So I can do that one handed. Alright, here we go. My god, what is going on? Okay, there's something else I got to do. Oh, God, I love these trucks. Got it open. Piece of garbage. Half the door's rusted away. God, I hate these things. So, yeah, that's still stuck there. I'm going to beat the piss out of that with a hammer. All right, so I took the grinder with the cutoff wheel. And I'm grinding far through it as I can. This thing is fighting me non-stop. Get my finger out of the way. Cut down the side. There you are, you piece of shit. Sorry for the language, but man, this pisses me off. Beating on it, I've knocked all the rust loose in the... You know, was that rocker? So there we go. Long last, you piece of garbage. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to put another bottom, in, bottom latch in there or not. The other truck I had, I did not do that. And it will still close just fine. It has just a tiny wiggle at the bottom, but I'm not really worried about it. Because once the other, the main door shuts, it keeps it all in here. And that's very little movement at all. Maybe, maybe a half an inch. So, now I got quad cab doors. By God. How you like me now? So there you go, folks. Try to get without beating on it too much, but... Cut off wheel, right in the middle of that latch. <clears throat> yeah, that thing is rusted beyond beyond repair. So, do your maintenance, people, for God's sake. Just because the truck's old doesn't mean it's not worth taking care of. 
Well, she's off. Now I got my door open again. So, now on to the other side. All right, so here's door number two. Got all three of the bolts busted off and I just ground off the base of the latch there. There it is laying right there in the door. So this one should come off pretty easy. I get my light here. I love this light, Harbor Freight. Three settings, super bright, medium, and then out the tip. It also bends to a 90, 180 to 90. Actually it goes full 180 the other way if you want to light up. The trees are inside of a tent, whatever. And it also will twist 180 that way. And it's uh, charged with a uh, micro SD right there. If I can get this here, Just plug that into your computer, or charger, whatever. So I think it's 38 bucks. I've, I've got my money's worth with this, that's for sure. All right, so here we go. Get the latch to undo the top and get the cord out of the way. Oh yeah, look at that. First time this door's been open in probably five years. So look at all the rust to the bottom of the door. So yeah, this door's about shot at the bottom. So, there's a puck, as I like to call it. I'm going to fiddle with that, see if I can get it off gently. If not, I'll have to cut down the middle, or well, just off to the side. There's your shoe, the door post, right there. So you don't want to cut right there because you'll ruin it. You want to cut to the side, right there, which is pretty much in the middle. Free penny. No, it's not even a penny. It's a washer. Piece of paper for under a cap. So there we go. Now I got two functioning quad doors again. Extended cab quad doors. So, all right. Mission accomplished. Boy, that feels good to get these open. So if you have rusty latches, this is the easiest way that I know of. Um... I didn't have to kick the door. I didn't have to beat it with a 4x4 and a sledgehammer. Uh, I just made the bottom of the door flat, which meant taking off the studs and the bottom of the latch. That way the door would just slide right across the top of that without very little resistance and should open up just like it did. So if your last ditch effort, everything's rusted, that's how you do it. That's the best way I know. Cut it with the uh, cutoff wheel. And let me see if I can get, get it to cooperate without damaging much of anything. See the shoe in there. Fun trying to do this one hand. It's getting there. Trying not to damage that. That is one tough buzzard. Uh, where's my baby sledge? Where'd you go? here a little bit. Hit the latch. There we go. That's looking better. Alright. Try the pry bar. Much 
tweezer with two hands. <laughs> You're fighting tooth and nail, aren't you? My cutoff wheel has ground down a little bit, so it's not as tall as it was when I started. Otherwise, I could have got a little deeper with it. And there's the top of that. Boy, oh boy. You are holding on for dear life, aren't you, buddy? Look at that. <laughs> I'll give you... I'll give you credit for your tenacity, but... Right now, I'm pretty pissed off at what all the previous owner stuck me with. Bye bye. Da da. Bye bye. There we go. Now I got functioning doors again. Shut the. Get that out of the way. Ready. And. Ooh. Ah. Just like in the Grinch. Ooh. Ah. Oh, yeah. Now, see, that was a lot easier. Had I known that's what I needed to do, I would have done that from the start. This whole thing took no more than a half an hour for both doors. Um, of course, you got probably 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes total to get the door panels off. You know, if they're careful and everything and want to do it right. I like to do it right because I don't like to screw up the truck. I mean, yes, it's rusty. Yes, it's used. But it's a matter of principle. I'm a machinist. In my former life, before I became self-employed fully. So I like to do things carefully and meticulously with minimal damage regardless of whether this is, truck is a rust bucket or not. So, I do have extra quad cab doors should I decide to keep this truck. So, there we go. That is your tutorial. And the hard work took about 10 minutes per door. 10 to 15 minutes, so we're good, we're clear. If I wanted, there is enough meat on there still that I could uh, put another latch. I think for winter time, I'm gonna leave it go because that's just gonna be more opportunity for uh, salt and grit and grime and water to rust in there and start deteriorating a new one. So I think I'll just leave it like this for, for the winter. They still work and are safe enough to function, so. There you go, folks. Sorry for all the rambling, but uh, there's life lessons in about everything you do if you look for it. So there you go, folks. Have a good one.